Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1974 Chevrolet Corvette. It has something special under the hood. Before we go over this whole entire car, take a test drive, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Also, we have merchandise under there. We change it every month. Right now, I'm wearing our big time Bullet Motorsports t-shirt, which is pretty sweet. It's got our Cadillac on it with horns. But back to this car. So this is a 1974 Chevrolet Corvette. It has a 350 power plant with uh, 312 foot-pounds of torque and 248 horsepower. The motor was rebuilt. I have all documentation on it. The exterior appearance is extremely nice. Uh, the paint is like a metallic brown and it does have uh, gold stripes on the sides. All the lights work as they should. The hood works as it should and so do the T-tops. Uh, wheels and tires have about 95% tread. The motor itself was rebuilt in 2005. So let me go ahead and pop that open for you. you get on that side and I'll open her up. So you can see the engine's extremely clean. Uh, looks like they didn't put too many miles on it after they built it. It did come with a 365 day warranty back then, but that's expired. It has a MX, MSD ignition. It has a Performer EPS manifold. So that gives you better uh, breathability. And it does have a set of manifolds. Your clutch is in great shape and the radiator looks to be replaced as well. All of your electronics look very nice. And then I want you to come up here in the front. They've replaced both the actuators for your headlights and these work great. Also look inside here, you can see that cross member. There's no rusting or rotting. And then you've got your vacuum tank right here as well. So that's what's gonna hold your air. Extremely clean, I mean, look at the body. The reflections, I'm sure you could see yourself in the video right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Let's go down the pass or the driver's side. You can see that it has the old school alarm set up here. I'm not sure if that works, but I'm gonna definitely try it out. Uh, you've got your Stingray, which looks great, and all of your vents look great. There's no fiberglass overlay like it was in an accident. And also, when we put it in the air, it's extremely clean. I don't see any chassis damage or fiberglass repair. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door. Take a look at how nice the interior is. Extremely clean, the dash looks very nice. Uh, minor hairline crack just on this uh, A-pillar section right here, just on the foam itself near the VIN, mark, the VIN number. But other than that, it looks, it looks like brand new. Seats are in great shape with uh, little to no wear. And then your shifter looks great and the carpet is in excellent condition as well. Your T-tops come off with ease and all the rubber is very soft. So you can see that I'm pushing it right now and it's not cracking. The paint job flows through very nicely. Rear quarter looks great, and all the fiberglass looks good. I don't see any seams that have been re uh, replaced. And also when you put it in the air, you don't see any of that either. It does have a power antenna, and then it does have a luggage rack, which is pretty neat. So if you do use this to travel, you can put all your stuff out here. Uh, 74 is designated with the split bumper. So you're gonna see this line here. That's how you know if you look, look at a Corvette. Also, this has a muffler delete, and it sounds amazing. It does have baffles in the pipe, so it's not too loud. And all of your emblems look good here. Usually, the, you, whenever you see a Corvette like this, these have, have fallen off because there's push pins that hold them in place. Um, bumper lines are good down here as well. And then if you look underneath it, it has brand new uh, suspension and bushings throughout. Passenger side quarter looks really nice as well. And then I want you to look at the roof line. Look at how that paint flows and all the trim and bright work is in excellent condition. And open up this door for you. Rally wheels look great. Looks like they have new bezels around all the wheels. Look at the headliner as well when you get in there. It's very, very nice. What we'll do is look at the uh, passenger side fender and then we'll just take it for a ride. What I'm gonna do is start it up. We'll take the mic off and you can listen to it idle. It sounds extremely nice. The same thing with this fender. I don't see any body work. I don't see any filler work looks to be the original panel, and there's no uh, seam replacement, so I don't see any fiberglass work at all. Let me go ahead and get inside there. I'm gonna start it up, and I'm gonna turn on the headlights for you. Sounds really good. 
No smoke's coming from the exhaust. Let me put it, the brake on and go out there so you can hear it. Sounds really, really healthy. Emergency brakes it works as it should because obviously we're on a very large incline right now. Let's jump in and go for a ride. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you that the power windows work as I should, so I'm dropping his, dropping mine. Uh, that's our air condition, it does not have air condition. Your wipers work as they should, which is important. A lot of vacuum stuff going on here. You got your fuel gauge, which is showing that we're almost out of gas. Your temperature gauge and your clock, which is operating as it should. Oil pressure and your voltage. We just put a brand new battery in here as well. Uh, you can see that the illumination for brake is on and then our speedometer goes to 160. It's showing 8,800 miles on the odometer, but it is being sold as exempt. Um, when I look at it, it looks like it could be 8,800 miles, but there's no way for me to tell. Also, the original designation was 270 foot-pounds of torque. Now it has 314, so it's much more peppy. We'll go ahead and put it in first gear and roll out. Clutch feels really good. No slipping, no chattering. Suspension feels good, no funny sounds. Oh man, the exhaust sounds really nice. It sounds perfect with the baffles and no mufflers. That's the way it should have came from the factory. Uh, we do have a host of documentation that will come with this car. So you're able to show that it has had a motor that's been rebuilt. Uh, motor has been decked, so there's no way for us to tell if this is the original motor, but it's extremely clean and extremely healthy. Speedometer works as it should, it's not bouncing. Turn signal indicator works as well. And what I'll do is I'll stay in second gear here, and I'll roll into the throttle. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Very healthy. A uh, very linear power band. These 350s are just great motors to have because they don't overheat. They don't overheat, and they always uh, have a tendency to like to rev a little bit higher. We only went to, to 4,000 RPMs right there. Our left turn indicator is working as it should. Clutch is very easy to drive. It, it, enga it engages halfway. Super smooth. Brakes even. The brakes are even as well. That exhaust is so cool. Put this up so you don't have any wind noise. What we'll do is when we get to this corner here, I'll accelerate first through second, and then I'll uh, push the brakes so you can see how it performs at around 45 miles per hour. It's actually very pleasurable to drive. Clutch is not too heavy, and the shifter feels really good. Uh, the interior, I mean, it's, it's very, very nice. All right, so here we go. We're going to do our first gear roll. Now we'll test the brakes. Brakes feel good. Overall, very sorted. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Have a great day.